Nando, you know what it is. It's the Pound for Pound Boxing Show. Today, I've got a very special guest, Sam Egerton. He's headlining May 22nd, Hennessy Sport Live on Channel 5. And he's going up to middleweight for the vacant silver middleweight title against Molina, a very experienced Mexican. Big, big task for Sam. Obviously, we've got um stack card, Idris Virgo, Shaqan Peters and Michael Hennessy Jr. Let's see what he says now. We're going to get Sam on. How you doing, Sam? Hi, pal. You all right, yeah? Yeah, not bad, mate. Not bad. Just want to say thank you for taking your time to speak to us today. No problem, pal. I appreciate you having me on. Um, first of all, how's camp going? How's training? It's good, pal, as usual. Um, I'm tired, you know. I want to eat more than I should. And I want to sleep more than I'm allowed, so... It could only mean I'm, I'm working hard, I suppose. That's it. That's it. And after you get the job done on May 22nd, it'll be all worth it. And then you could go back to, you know, having your big meals and hopefully some more sleep. 100%. 100%. It'll be all worth it in the end, mate. Um, let's talk about your last fight. Obviously, your next fight, you're back um, headlining Hennessy Sport on Terrestrial TV, Channel 5. Um, first of all, how great is it for boxing fans that, you know, Mike, Michael Hennessy has given this um, a chance um, giving boxing fans a chance to to have boxing back on terrestrial TV. How important is that for boxing fans and boxing itself? Yeah, I mean, especially you know, for for people that for people that enjoy the or but and so forth. You know, it's not like you can just pay for one one channel and you'll get you'll get the boxing. You, know, you have to pay for the whole thing. So. For people that, you know, not can't afford it but don't want to pay the prices, you know, for it to be on terrestrial T V, you know, prime time, you know, it's perfect for people. Um and it's great for the boxers because like I say, my my viewing numbers have never been so big. Um in the last fight with Dave Hain, I think it was over, you know, one point three, one point four million viewers at one point. Wow. So, um when you think for when you think of that for your sponsors and, and so on and so forth. It can only you know, help. You know what I'm saying? Of course, 100. percent Um, I spoke to to Michael Hennessy Jr. yesterday. I spoke to Shaq and Peters on Saturday. They said the same thing. Their viewer numbers have never been so high. So, and it's important for everyone, for the boxer, for the promoter, for the sponsors as well. And um, you know, you keep doing that, and uh, hopefully, the sponsors uh, pay out a bit more for you. Yeah. Exactly. And 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 Mo Hennessy, you know, he's he's really trying to put the card on. Like you say, he got Shaq and the British. You know, luckily enough, he lost it. But you know, he's got me a big total. You know, there should have been a total on the last fight I had, but you know, it was just you know the way things were, they were just weren't on about. Um, you know, he's getting the totals, and it's making people think. You know, I want to watch. You know, that channel for there's got, there's a huge total on the line. You know, there's a British total on the line, there's a, a WBC total. On it. And it's just making more people, you know, want to watch. No, I echo that. Echo that. I, I I can't wait. When I when I saw some of the events last year, and obviously this one was um, was announced, I I put in my diary straight away. I love it. I I, I miss terrestrial TV. You know, I grew up in the time when, you know, uh, when I used to watch Frank Bruno and Nigel Ben and Chris Eubank Senior, and then even in when we hit the millennium, you had people like Amir Khan and David Hay on ITV. You know, I miss that terrestrial yeah. TV boxing as well. You know, it, it's needed in boxing. Sam, you there? Sam? I think there's a connection uh, problem. Some problems there, yeah. You're back. Sam, can you see me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It went a bit off then. But I can see you now. Perfect. Let me just see if I can fix that. Because you're frozen on my screen for some reason. Uh, bear with me. Is that better, yeah? Let me see if I can see you now. Yeah, that's a lot better. Yeah, so... Um, your last fight was obviously last year, December 11th, against Ashley Theo Payne. 
Uh, you got the job done with um, a sixth round body shot. Um, well, how do you sum up your performance? Are you happy with? Obviously, you got the stop. But are you happy with your performance that night? Uh, it, it was alright. I mean, I've, I haven't watched it back all that much, if I'm honest. Um, I think I've watched it twice. You know, both of them was before the new year, so um, it was alright. You know, we got the job done. Um, it was it weren't, weren't clinical, but you know, we wanted to get him out of there, and, and that's what we've done. Um, so yeah, it, it's what it is. You know, it's just a. It was just trying to get a win before Christmas, you know, and I was determined. It's not the um, the first time I've seen you use that body shot. I've seen the first time I ever saw you live, Sam. You broke my heart. You retired one of my favorite boxers, Paulie yeah. Malinaji, um, on the Tony Bellew, David Hay undercard. I was there yeah. near front row, and um, it's it's becoming a trademark that body shot of yours, and it's lethal as well. Um, do you yeah. do you work hard on it in training? I do. I mean, I know I've got a few staffages, but I don't believe I'm concussive. I don't believe I'm a concussive puncher. I think a lot of my staffages come just from, you know, pressure, constant pressure. Um, and if I have stopped someone with a one, like one shot, it's been to the body. Um, so I, I work. I do. I do work on them. I enjoy them. I think. And it, when you get them back, you, you soon. You see, it, it, it clicks in your head like, you know, I should definitely be throwing them. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Because yeah. people, people neglect the body. Um, people neglect it. And um, it's just a sickening feeling. I mean, you can shake them off to the head. You know, someone hits you a big head shot. You can shake them off. You know, you can have a minute rest or whatever it is. But to the body, it's just a sickening part. And it's very hard to, to, um, to regain your momentum after, after a, a good body shot. 100%. Um, let's talk about your next fight. You're moving up to middleweight. You're fighting for the vacant silver middleweight title against Carlos yeah. Molina, um, a guy who's very experienced and dangerous. Let's let's look at some of the people he's fought. Bronze medalist Sissoko, who's fighting Kieran Conway this weekend. Uh, Josh yeah. Kelly, Corey Spinks, Erislandi Lara, Chavez Jr. twice. Apart from those opponents, what do you know about this guy and what dangers does he bring to the ring? Again, uh... You know, I, I don't watch them. I don't, I don't, um, I don't study them. I don't, I don't do that. Um, everyone looks great to me on the internet. Do you know what I mean? Like, win, lose, or draw, they all look like killers to me. So I'm not one of them people that take a lot from watching them. I leave it down to the team. You know, they'll show me clips in here and there, of what he does, what he likes to do. Um, but I've got a plan, you know, and, um, the team will, will talk me through it. I'll go through it the best I can on the night to my ability, and and you know I'll 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 come out with a win. Um, but yeah, like I say, I don't study them. I don't you know look over their best fights, their worst fights. And like you say, he's experienced, so he could change it up. You know, he he could do something completely different to what he's ever done before. Um, so yeah, I just I just go off what the team say, um, and I'll roll with the punches on the night. Amazing. Obviously, let's talk about your last fight when you beat uh, Ashley Theopane. You you straight away called for that rematch with uh, Ted Cheeseman. What I want to know yeah. is, throughout your career, you've been a welterweight and super welterweight. What was the reason be behind you and your team's decision to go up to middleweight and go up to a bigger weight and um, and fight someone dangerous like this? I mean, I'm going up a way, I understand that, but Carlos Molina's not a huge middle. You know, he was boxing that white away far back as all of us. Do you know what I mean? I mean, when he boxed Josh Kelly, I don't know how far that was ago, but he was at Walter. Yeah. That was 10-7. Um, granted, he ain't, he ain't had a lot of fights at light middle, but that's just because he ain't wanted to. Um, it's not like um, I'm getting in the ring with, you know, a, you know, a big middleweight you know, tank, he's, he's not that, um, if anything, he's a blown up light, light middle, like probably I will be on the night, do you know what I mean, he's, he's not a big guy, uh, if he if was a, a big killer of a middleweight, then of course, you know, I wouldn't be doing that stupid, but this kid's boxed that water as far back as I have, um, you know, he's boxing that middle now, but 
he's not going to be much better than me on the night, even if he, if he is bigger. Do you know what I mean? It's, it, it's calculated. It's not just, oh, we've got a middleweight total, let's grab it. Um, so, yeah. It, it, and to be fair, he's a, he's a big opportunity. You know, there's a big total there. And he's a great name. Of course, we asked for it at, at Light Middle, but he didn't want to do it. Um, and I think that was everything. You don't, you don't want to make the weight, you know... He said on an interview, you know, about a few days ago, the weight, the weight's easy. I don't have to make weight. So, um, and that's it. You know, it, if it was a big killer of a middleweight, of course I wouldn't be taking it, but he's not. Um, and when I win the title, you know, we'll keep it for a few months. If someone wants to pay me a million pounds to turn off in the USA and, and fight a big middleweight, then I'll do it. But if not, we'll, we'll see what we'll see what else comes. That was going to be my next question. Obviously, never looking past your opponents, but beating Molina, I'm guessing, is unless the money is right, you're you're going to go back to super welterweight then. Yeah, yeah without a doubt, without a doubt. Um, it's just a scalp and a belt. You know, it's it's a huge belt. It's a huge scalp, um, and I'll be ranked highly with the WBC. If I vacate and go back down away, you know, I'll still be ranked you know, early, so, so there you go. But, again, if someone offers me a lot of dough, I'm still there. Give me a shout, I'm there. But, um, but we'll see, we'll see. I'll send this to a lot of promoters, Sam, for you. Yeah, man, you get me a million pounds, I'll give you a percentage. That's <laughs> You'll regret saying that, I'm a good salesman. <laughs> <laughs> um. Obviously, I don't want you. I'm not trying to get you to call anyone out. And I know you won that Cheeseman, um, that Cheeseman rematch. A lot, a lot of your fans and boxing fans really want that rematch. Realistically, obviously, they're talking about Anthony Fowler. Obviously, you just had Troy win on Friday, and he's now the mandatory for the British title. It doesn't look like it could be next this fight for you. Is there anyone in particular you you would want to fight a super welterweight? Not, not really. I've never been one to call names and and try and plan ahead because this is boxing. Um, it never goes that way. Of course. Uh, of course, I'd, I'd like a rematch. You know, I, I'm not bitter. Like I've said to a lot of people, I'm not bitter. I'm not. I'm not like this is this is. I'm not the way. You know, if if I lose on the night, I'm quite happy to say, look, it's worth my night. It's better. But I genuinely believe I won that night. Um, and I feel like I got hard done by before I got in the ring. Um, but, again, you know, he's British champion. Troy's won a final eliminator. Eddie and, you know, Matt True massively want the Fowler fight. Um, so that's never going to be next. But, like my whole career, I've never planned around anyone. Um, I've always done my own thing. If it come back up, you know, in a few fights, then of course I'll take it. But, at this point, I'm not really bothered what he does. Or, or where he goes, I'm not going to be chasing him because that'll just hold me up. Um, I'm, I'm trying to take my own, like, like this one, you know, I wanted I wanted the rematch straight after. It didn't come, yeah. come back. So we moved on, we've got the fear of fight, for it, um, and now we're on to this. Um, and we'll see, we'll see what comes up after this. Your name was mentioned, I don't know if you saw that, on Twitter on Saturday, because a lot of people called for, for you to fight Scott Fitzgerald after his return on Saturday. A lot of fans would want that fight. What, should, what? I'm not saying to call. I know you just said you don't. You're not one to call people out. But just your thoughts on Scott coming back, and what's your thoughts on on that potential fight? I mean, like I say, it could be there. Um, we're just we're a different promotion off tables now, but you know, it could be there. I sparred with him once. Um, he's, he's a good kid, you know. He's just, I put him at the top, you know, in Britain out of the rest of them without a doubt, but. Um, yeah, he's a good kid. I hope he does well. Um, I know he went through a bad patch, but it is what it is. If it comes about again, you know, if it, if it's worth taking, then you know I'm, I'm up for it. But until something's you not know, really worth it, it's not worth that. Of course, of course. Do you your your thoughts on Josh Kelly? Do you think he should stay a welterweight, or is he too big for that? And would he be a great addition to your division if he came up? Yeah, I mean, it's hard to say because. I understand he lost, but he lost against an animal. <laughs> yeah. Man, your is no joke. So I understand he, he struck to make away. Whether that was the factor, we don't know. You know, I've, I do a lot of rounds with Man and I know that the pace he was putting on that night, 
that would have been 12 rounds solid, without a doubt. So, I understand, you know, he, he struggled at the weight and, you know, he, everyone's calling him to go up, but it's not to say that the weight was the fact that in the loss, you know, Van is just a tank and he does go at it for 12 rounds solid. So it could just be what Van Nyssen's done good. Um, but yeah, if he goes up, I mean, he'll have more energy. With the way he boxes, he needs as much energy as possible. So, yeah, you know, a, a middle up in weight might, might help him out with that. So we'll see. But um, I know nothing about it, Josh Kelly since that fight. So I don't even know what they're thinking. They might be thinking of moving up, they might not be, but I know anything. Be interesting to see because a lot of fans regardless if he goes up or not, they still won that Conor Ben fight, even though he lost. And that that would be a great fight. Yeah, saying, saying that, I ain't heard nothing about it. I didn't even call out Conor Ben after Conor Ben beat... Um, that lucky did he beat? Vargas. Yeah, and I did I did see that Josh Kelly had called him out. So maybe he's staying at Walter. Um, well, you just never know. You just don't know. About yeah. I can I can see something happening in my opinion. Eddie Hearn came out the other day and said, you know, Avenisia might go for a world title. He might vacate the European, and Connor goes for the European. Now I wouldn't be shocked if you're going to get Connor Ben versus Josh Kelly for the vacant European title. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Do you know what it is though? Yeah, I don't get yeah. How people just 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 bypass the British? They just bypass it. I just don't get it. Um. How do you even know you're the best in in your country if you're just bypassing things and, and moving on? I think it's crazy. But um, I know that there are about a lot of people just bypassing the British and moving on to bigger things, but I don't know. I think it's mad. Carl Frock said that. Carl Frock said that a lot of people have forgotten the, the tradition of the whole Southern area, English, British, yeah. Commonwealth. Because there's nothing more prestigious to win when you're when you're from Britain to win the southern area or wherever you're part of the UK, the Irish title or whatever, and then go on to win the English and then the, the British. You know, to win the British title is is an honour. I and mean, I think a lot of people have forgotten I'm, that. I'm literally just saying to my, um, my coach today, John Pegg, how, how good I am that I won the Midlands and I won the British, but I didn't get the English on the way through. I'm gutted and get the English, you know, to, to, to stack them all up, everyone. But I've got my British in the house. It still smells brand new, brand new leather. I love it, man. I just don't get how people just bypass it just because they're too good for it. I mean, I think that's crazy. I think it's crazy. It's never too late, Sam. Your last ever fight when you retire, when you're 40, go for the English champion. Add that oh, last... That's it, man. That's it. Just add that last title as your last ever fight, and that's it. You got the collection. Yeah. I'll put that in. I'll put that. In. I'll keep that stored. That's it. And th I'm gonna put this video out in 15 years or whenever it is that you retire, and then it will go viral. <laughs> hopefully, <laughs> <laughs> I want. I want your thoughts on something. Um, I asked all my guests this. Uh, obviously, hopefully, it happens. The biggest uh, fight in British history, maybe heavyweight history. AJ versus Fury, who wins and why? I think it's hard to go against Fury. I think it's hard to, to be fair though. It's heavyweight boxing, so it's it's, it's hard to pick a winner. He only takes one shot, but but the way Fury, you know, he he really put it on Wilder. No one expected him to put to to change it up like that. Yeah. But again, you know, AJ AJ's box people. And he's blew people out, so they both can do, you know, both, you know, boxer and, and brawl. But I think, you know, if I, if I had to put my eyes on it, I'd go with Fury. Perfect. Uh, you know what? Up until now, I've asked over 40 people, only two people have said Anthony Joshua. So that highlight rule, when I put it out, it's, it's, it's just going to be Fury, 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 <laughs> AJ, Fury, 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 AJ, and then the rest, Fury. Hopefully, I can get some more AJ fans. And um, it will be I a mean, decent I'm a highlight role. Fan, I just don't see it. I don't know. It'll be interesting anyway, because I think both fighters recently in the last two years have learned two things. AJ, he knew how to box, but, you know, he was knocking people out and he never showed people that sweet science. So he learned that and, and brought that to his game. Where Fury, he, I think, I can't remember the last person, he, he, any, someone good that he actually stopped 
before Wilder yeah. was probably Derek Chisora. So he brought that to his game and showed something new in his game as well. So it's going to be an interesting fight. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be a good one to watch. <laughs> it won't be on Channel Five, unfortunately. Nah, nah. <laughs> I might, I might um, get some change out for it. That's it. <laughs> Sam, before I let you go, a message for the fans, and what can they expect on May twenty second? I just, uh, appreciate everyone. You know, well wishes, a well done, good luck. Um, tune in twenty second of May. Um, it'll be a, a big fight for a huge title, and I'm gonna be bringing all the pressure. Okay, um, I'm full of energy at middleweight, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go at it until the bell rings for the end. Any last message for Molina? Nah, really, pal. Uh, nah, I, I I ain't got no no. Quick one, I should have thought about it really, and I ain't got no quick one line, I should have thought of one. Shit. <laughs> uh, nah, I got no Melina, one just be ready. ready. Just be ready, yeah. Just just, <laughs> just get ready and make sure you, you, you make the plan. Um, that's about it. That's it. Sam, I just want to say thank you for taking your time to speak to me today. It's been a pleasure. Been wanting to speak to you for a long time. Been a massive fan, me and my colleague Jermaine. And uh, we wish you nothing but the best for May 22nd and going forward. And you know what? You deserve that rematch with Ted Cheeseman and I hope you get it. See, you thought I won, innit? Did you think I won? Sorry? Did you think I won? I've got to sit on the fence, Sam. I'm not allowed to say. Ah, come on. I'm not allowed to say. <laughs> I'm not allowed to say. Uh, Either way, nah, I, will say, I will say one thing. I will say one thing: the fight wasn't one-sided, and you deserve a rematch, a hundred percent. The only and the only thing I will say: I'm not going to say who I fought won. I think there there needs to be better judges in the UK, and in fights uh, in general. Man, that's, that's, do you know what? Yeah, talking about judges, one of the judges that judged um, Fingy fight, he's been fight, had me losing the fear pain fight when he when I, when, I, when it got stopped. That's. Even over the That's weekend, you saw against Derek Chisora, it's just, yeah. it's a joke. That's all, it's just an absolute and, joke. And, and people always, people always wonder, like, I say to people, like, I'm not leaving anything to the judges, and people just think it's just like a, a gimmick, you know, trying to get the carrots, but you have no choice with, with how the yeah. judges are going. You be you taken into your own hands, or you just never know what's going to happen. Yeah. It's a mad, that, like I said, I'll that's why I'm, I'm so worried. worried. I'm so worried for Billy Joe Saunders over the weekend. You have no idea. Uh, yeah, mate. He, he's going to have to pull some out of the bags for, on a serious note. Cause yeah. From what I've heard as well, the ring's about as big as a phone box, isn't it? Yeah. So I'm hearing, yeah. I saw a few things on that. But, yeah, I hope he does it as well. There's no one more I'd love to do it because I don't, I don't know Billy knows, but he's a bit mad and, and no one expects it of him. And, you know, it's just, I'd love him to do it, man. I really would. It'll be great. It'll be a great fight. Sam, I want to say thank you again and uh, good luck on May 22nd, mate. And it was a pleasure speaking to you. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Take care. Stay safe.